Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome back to Puzzle Agent 2. Today, it is time to talk to Bjorn. Hi, hi. Enough's enough, Bjorn. I demand that you answer my questions. <laughs> Angry whispers. <laughs> Brotherhood is broken. Right. <laughs> no, no. Can't do this, small man. Okay. He's not being evasive. He, he's gone insane. Right. Help Nelson regain Bjorn's sanity by shining the light of reason to the core of his brain. Avoid the green synapses at all costs. Arrange the mirrors so that the light of reason hits all the L-shaped pieces of sanity before finally reaching the blue core of Bjorn's brain. Light entering a piece of sanity will redirect the core by 90 degrees. Did I say redirect the core? I said, I mean the light. I don't know. Okay, so we need to get there. The light is shining here. Boop. No, not that one. This one. So, ding, 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 ding. It's a, it, it doesn't say we have to use all the mirrors, right? Hold on. Yeah, it just says arrange the mirrors so that the light of reason hits all L-shaped pieces of sanity. It doesn't say you need to use all the mirrors. Which I think... This should be enough. I mean, we can throw this down here just to be on the safe side, but... I don't think we need it. Hooray! We did it! Top agent! Hooray! Thank you, Agent Tethers. You're going to have to explain what's going on. Yes! I will try. Okie doke! Uh, he's being cooperative. This is unusual. I know you're behind all of the missing person cases in Scoggins. No, that's not true. Then why did I see your man Edvard in the woods last night? He was searching for Shielder. The other cult, uh, member of the Brotherhood? Yeah. Right. He went to commune with the hidden people. Okay. Never returned. Oh dear. Now he is lost. Well, now they're both lost, probably. Why were you trying to keep me from finding Isaac Davner? He was chosen. The hidden people whispered to him. He right. had to listen. Okay. Where is he now? He is lost, like the others. Right. The hidden people are angered. Okay. So they're angry. How do you talk to the hidden people? I do not. They choose. I have never seen them. I see. Well, well this was if very you're not informative. Behind disappearances, who is? I do not know. You must find them, Agent Tethers. Bring them home, all of them. Shielder, Edvard, Isaac, all of. I'll do what I can. Right. Well. Ta-ta. Or not. Who's Olaf? Olaf Velhaven. The first man lost to the forest many years ago. Where was he seen last? In his cabin in Sesame Woods. Right? Bjorn insists the Brotherhood isn't behind the disappearance. You could probably do this reason, outside. I'm relieved they're not trying to kill me. But yeah. that do, do you really have to do this theory. like five feet from him? This is awkward. Isaac Davner really is a serial murderer. 
Bjorn's pointed out the cabin of Olaf Velhoven on my map. Right. Maybe I'll find some leads there. Okie doke. Off to the cabin. Alright. Here we go. Oh boy. More locks. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. Nelson needs to get into Olav's cabin, but the door is sealed. With only one cut, sever all of the barricades on Olav's door. Oh, great. Okay. So it needs to be one of these three in this top right. Because that's the only stuff that's going to break this one over here. Right? Am I overthinking this again? Will some of these... Will some of these not matter? The thing is I can't tell like... This one here... Is this chained... Is this connected to the door or is this connected to the other um the other beam the other bar and if that's the case then doesn't that mean it's not uh it's not going to get in the way because as soon as the other one moves it will move as well maybe not Um. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe actually, I think I just stumbled across that. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. I think I, I think I figured it out. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> just, just picking one place, and then I was like, wait, wait, I can get everything. <laughs> Perfect. The lock on Olaf's cabin was a little tricky. A little bit. Who or what was he trying to keep out? That's a very good question. Why am I yawning? Hello? Are there... Is there a murderer in here? The cabin seems untouched. I must be the first person here in years. Right? Apparently, Olaf Velhaven had an interest in astronomy. Right. There's got to be something in his journals or equipment that gives a clue to his disappearance. Indeed. Okay. Looks like Olaf was a fan of Galileo. Right. Well, let's get some gum. It's focused on the moon, just like Olaf was. You can see that? I thought it was daytime. How could one man possibly need this many socks? I don't know. <laughs> I go through a lot of socks as well. I wonder if Olaf moved to the wilderness to better see the stars. Okay. Uh, I click the center of the circles to rotate them. Arrange the objects so that the suns are on the left side, the earths are on the right, and the moons are where the circles overlap. Okay. Sun's on the left, Earth's on the right, Moon's where the circles overlap. Okay. Well. Actually, hold on. Can we, can we rotate backwards? No, we can't. Okay, well, first of all, I need to get this closer okay we'll do that 
And then we gotta rotate them all around. There we go. Perfect. Aha! But why would an astronomer come to Scoggins to do his research? That's a very good question. Very, very good question. Olaf seems to have been particularly interested in lunar eclipses. Right. Each moon emits a total of 10 lunacy watts. The wattage is evenly distributed to each lunar ray the moon emits. How many lunacy watts are received by the Earth? Okay. Each moon emits a total of 10. And it's evenly split. Okay. So 10, 15, 20. Yep. Am I, am I not thinking this through enough? This feels super easy. I'm like, wait, wait a second. What? That was too easy. Okay, uh, we're top agent. Olaf Velhoven kept a record of the time and date of every penumbral eclipse for years. Why was he so interested in lunar eclipses? That's a very good question. This looks like some kind of mathematical formula. Okay, can you figure out the algorithm? Algorithm. Uh, Olaf created it. Arrange the mathematical elements in the proper order. That's no good. There's just not enough information here to solve this okay. one. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. Ah, missed this one is puzzle. Odd. Why would an astronomer be studying psychology? Move the celestial bodies to their proper positions in the cosmos. The large asteroid is in the way, but can end up anywhere. Okay. So it's a slider puzzle. We gotta get all of these to the right places. Let's throw that over there. Hold on. No, we'll, we'll, we gotta bring. Okay. This is a little bit more complicated than I expected. Why is everything so big? If this wasn't here, it would be so much easier. I feel like I'm uh, missing something. Oop. Nope. I think the other annoyance is the fact that it kind of moves like in a in a tile based sort of system. Oh. Oh, you can move di you can move them diagonally. That, uh, that's groundbreaking. Okay, well, I can't move that diagonally. That's unfortunate. Okay, I can move the, okay. Okay, well, uh, I think that works. Da, 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 da. Earth, Sun, and Moon. Top agent. That's it. Had a little but bit what of a yawn. What does this there. have to do with his other research? This is a very good question. Oh hi. 
Okay. Well, um, well, obviously we have something to listen to. However, I think it's time to stop for now. So, we'll do that next time. So, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!